bullshit. <laughs> no recos though. No recos. No recos. Yeah, 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 What's good, my lady? Me, welcome back to another lovely, beautiful, sexy, amazing video. The equally lovely, equally beautiful, equally sexy, and equally amazing lit. I already know what time it is. Now, let's go. Now, guys, first and foremost, I want to say thank you for getting me to 2,000 subscribers. Yes, road to road to 3K now. Keep watching, keep subscribing, keep sharing the videos, all that good stuff. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about TM Wayne and Russ, who potentially have a third collab song on the way, and whether or not they birthed H and RD's career. And we're going to break this down in way more detail. But you know what you got to do? You just got to like, comment, subscribe, to them, drop a banger like this one, and hit that note. Because you're in a niche. You can be the first to know one of these videos comes out and without further ado let's get straight into it it looks like tion wayne and russ might be going three for three earlier in the week a video leaked that looked like they were shooting a music video for a new song that they've got there was a bunch of real street drillers in the video it's probably being filmed in edmonton i'm going to assume and i think we can expect this to come in probably the next couple weeks the actual song itself well there is one video that gives a little snippet of the song and Oh, to be honest it does sound a bit decent i'm not gonna lie it's not gonna be winning a grammy or anything like that or a brit award but it just sounds like one of those cool bumpy drill tunes to to set off the summer which i think honestly we've been kind of lacking this year and of course in the song you can still hear tion wayne doing the infamous thing of shouting random women's names with i think these ones were called Tan tanisha and bonquisha and god only knows what other names they're going to use in this song but essentially when this snippet of the new tion wayne and ross song was posted i saw a comment of someone saying they need to sign the next white boy they put on the remix which if you didn't know is of course in reference to h and rd who were both featured on the keisha and becky and body remix respectively and what well, you know the rest is history so it got me thinking did Tion Wayne and Russ really make H and RD's career? Did they essentially put RD and H on? Now, personally, I'd answer that question with a yes. I believe both of those artists gained significant amount of notoriety from being featured on those songs. And without that feature, I don't know if I could confidently say that those artists would be in the same position that they are today. They'd probably be a lot worse off, let's be real. But I'm going to do a bit of a deep dive into exactly how. Now, first, let's take a look at it from the perspective of H. Of course, H was featured on the Keisha and Becky remix that came out way back in 2019 with his verse being the first and of course the most prominent it was the standout verse on the remix it was catchy it had some witty lines I believe the show me a magic trick something something dick something like that pause <laughs> big pause that was the one that people were gravitating towards the most pause and he also particularly gained attention as he was from manchester and you could hear that in his accent when he was rapping and it was just, it was a bit of a shock that i guess to the general population there hasn't really been a uk rapper from manchester that's mainstream mainstream apart from maybe bugsy malone but yeah his mainstream is this arguable but yeah the general consensus at that time was who is this guy Who's this guy from Manny who's rapping so well? So I think we can say at the very least, this remix put some eyes onto H that weren't already there and probably would never have been there no matter how much music he put out at that time. Now, of course, there are going to be some people that are saying, you know, no, H already had motion prior to this song. He was doing X, Y, Z. He had that straight rhyme song that was doing bits. He had this freestyle on this platform that people were checking out. And yeah, whilst some of those things may be true i like to look at the numbers i'm the numbers guy and if we look at the numbers before the keisha and becky remix bear in mind the keisha and becky remix dropped in 2019 so his first project on your marks definitely on your marks because it didn't go nowhere it didn't chart in the uk and it didn't chart in ireland either and then if we fast forward to after the keisha and becky remix in fact this is at the height of his buzz his next project goes number three on the uk chart and that project is h2o i think that project's even silver now as well now if we look at his singles before the keisha and becky remix he released six singles and i think even if these singles had a gps none of them would be able to find their way to the uk charts because it is looking absolutely bleak on these statistics but then if we fast forward to after the keisha and becky remix his first single nearly goes number one the second one goes number eight and they're both and then he gets on the rain song with aj tracy and tay keith which let's be real that collab wouldn't have happened if he didn't get on the keisha and becky remix i'm just being honest and that song also goes number three 
and also goes platinum in the UK and Australia. So I think even Stevie Wonder doesn't have to wonder that H definitely owes a lot of his success to Russ and Tion and them allowing him to be on the Keisha and Becky remix. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm aware that, you know, once you get put on the remix, you still have to do your part. You still have to have a good verse. There's a lot of other people on that song that had verses that didn't do nothing and didn't go nowhere and didn't help their career. But Russ and Tion could have put, put anyone on that song at that time. They had all the motion. Well, Tion technically still does. But yeah, H, H owes Russ and Tion a lot. I'm not going to lie. I'd argue... He wouldn't be in the position that he's in right now without that remix. At least not right now. And unfortunately, the numbers do prove that again. Because we do know H is a hit maker and someone who, who, who can be in the charts. But when you actually do a deep dive into H's numbers and H's charting stat. When H has got a feature from the likes of Ashanti or from the likes of Ed Sheeran. Then yes, he's hitting that top. 10 top 5 top 20 chart in position but when it's just h on his own these songs aren't even cracking the top 40 most of the time it's, it's not looking good i don't think he's had a solo hit probably since since taste make it shake i'll be real probably not since five years ago which is ugh, it's bleak now let's move on to the cheeky chappy known as rd of course it was like deja vu when rd burst into the zeitgeist with his verse on the body remix in 2021 Again, that verse was a standout verse on that song, went super viral on the likes of TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, blah, blah, blah. And he was partly the reason why the song actually went to number one. In fact, I'd credit him with a lot of the reason why that song went to number one, to be honest, just because that verse was super viral. And yeah, people immediately realized that they were trying to pull another H situation and just get another, I guess, get another white rapper and give him a shock value verse and, and hope that it blows up again, which shocking to attempt and even more shocking than that it actually works because rd was arguably rookie of the year that year i'm not gonna lie and of course i meant no racial disrespect when mentioning rd's ethnicity but we can't not admit that that was at least some of the reason why both h and rd's verses blew up in the way that they did at least that was one of the things i heard people talking about when they discussed those two individuals it was like who is this caucasian rapper everyone else they're like oh yeah his verse is hard they're like oh yeah that caucasian rapper he's hard like they that's just how it is in rap let's be real but i digress prior to this though i think it's safe to say that rd wasn't exactly a household name i mean he had a bit of buzz you know some of the songs were making a bit of noise on youtube and things of that nature but i don't think he had anything that if you played it in the club that one everyone would know and two everyone would vibe to you know what i mean i don't think he had songs like that yet and again there's going to be some people that disagree with me on that as well they're going to think rd was you know already heading in this direction prior to this body remix coming out so again we're just going to take a look at the numbers and we're just going to make all of those people look like absolute buffoons because i live for doing that and just like a buffoon we actually can't see any singles from him prior to body because he hasn't even listed any as singles on his wikipedia i mean if that isn't a sign already that rd owes owes russ and Tion, then i don't know what is bro i mean obviously he had songs like 6am in brighton and he had that cheeky bars i believe that was a freestyle or something like that and uh, you know these songs are, are popular now because they were kind of released like just before he blew up so they they can they kind of ran up even more numbers because when uh, rd was new in the scene everyone starts looking up oh let me hear more rd music and they start finding these songs that were released recently but i guess songs like this one that i'm going to put on the screen now are, are more of an indication of how bad he was doing prior to born well, not necessarily bad but you know he wasn't he wasn't charting the way that he is now you know what i mean but then post the body remix his first single straight out the gate goes number six and is platinum then he gets a top 10 with t on wayne then he gets another top five platinum song all on his own again and then he gets another silver top 10 with h and of course his album is now gold as well and i believe that album went number two in the uk chart so yeah everything that rd touched was turned into gold after that body remix so i think it's definitely safe to say that well both of these individuals pretty much owe their entire careers to russ and tion wayne and i know that sounds harsh but I mean, it's kind of true. Like, And sadly, the most disheartening thing about this whole dilemma is that none of these two artists even acknowledge this as a fact. RD, uh, a little bit 
mentions how body is you know what took him to the next level he he does admit that from time to time but you don't really hear him mention about russ and, and tm wayne and how thankful and grateful he is to for them putting him on the song uh, again a little bit but not as much as you should for someone who's been able to catapult his career based on the bring through that they gave him and i mean your boy h he definitely doesn't mention it <laughs> i think he was even beefing with russ at one point back in the day as well i think there was something like russ russ was basically saying what i'm saying he's saying that h wasn't paying him no homage he was just performing the keisha and becky remix and like not even playing russ's part that much or something like that and then he wasn't inviting russ to his shows and then h said something like oh what i don't want you at my shows and <laughs> that's my money accent and it was just a whole nother i might make a separate video on that actually let me know in the comments if you want to make a separate video about the russ versus h beef but yeah i think they definitely owe owe their careers to russ and tm wayne so that's just my opinion my two cents but in the words of eddie one it's a bit of a sticky one still but let me know if you about this in the comment section down below what do you think about this theory that i've come up with do you agree with me do you disagree with me let me know in the comment section down below don't forget to like comment subscribe on the road to 2000 subs you already know what time it is oh no sorry we're on the road to 3000 subs you already know what time it is you can follow my personal ig at the oma lit t if you care about what i do i'm not making these bangers for you i bet peace oh you ain't know i can sing